The Duke and Duchess are being evicted from Frogmore Cottage as King Charles is reportedly planning to give the Windsor home to the disgraced Prince Andrew. While Harry and Meghan only resided on the property for six months, they made costly renovations with taxpayers' money. However, now financially independent, the royal couple paid back the renovation costs, sparking questions in royal circles as to whether they would be owed any money in return. Frogmore Cottage, built in 1801 and part of the Crown Estate, was originally five, run-down, staff residences before being turned into one large home with a private garden. The renovations cost taxpayers two pounds. Four million and Harry and Meghan paid for anything that went above the allocated budget. However, the pair moved across the pond just six months later, where they now live in an 11 million pound mansion in Montecito. Royal officials confirmed at the time that Harry and Meghan decided to reimburse the Crown Estate for the cost of renovations in a deal which included leasing Frogmore Cottage for an unspecified number of years. Harry and Meghan Moore punchline and rich expert says the Duke and Duchess claimed that the mass refurbishment would mean their family would always have a place to call home in the United Kingdom, despite pursuing careers stateside. It was also reported the royal couple wished to pay back public money in hopes of deflecting continuing criticism. Royal officials stated Harry and Meghan's decision to repay the two pounds. Four million on Frogmore represented a good deal for taxpayers. The money the Duke and Duchess transferred to cover the refurbishment of Frogmore Cottage also included undisclosed future rental costs, the palace's annual accounts reveal. Matt Hancock's team asked if they could lock up Nigel Farage, update heroic Ukrainian goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Russian tank in desperate fight, inside woman blows up herself and 30 cats after facing eviction, reveal, the royal pair are also allegedly funding the general upkeep of the Windsor home, including maintaining the garden, with the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant effectively acting as the landlord, the Daily Mail reports. However, Following reports that Harry and Meghan paid several years of rent in advance, the sudden termination of their lease sparked questions in royal circles as to whether they would be owed any money back as King Charles evicts the pair and plans to hand the keys over to Andrew. This revelation comes after it was announced the royal pair have been evicted as King Charles started the process one day after Prince Harry released his bombshell memoir Spare. The 74-year-old monarch has reportedly transferred the property to the disgraced Prince Andrew, who is reportedly being forced to move out of his current residence, the Royal Lodge, which he has occupied since 2003, the Sun has claimed. A source told the publication, however, that Andrew is resisting the eviction from the 30-room mansion in Windsor Great Park. Express.co.uk have approached Buckingham Palace for comment.